I removed the pull piece screws from my humbuckers, and I absolutely love it. So over the last few years, I've tried several things to make this guitar brighter. Um, I've lowered the pickup uh, as far as it would go in the pickup cavity without falling through the mounting ring. And several times I lowered it too far and it did fall through the mounting ring. Then I had to take everything out and put it back together. And so, um, but lowering it, um, lowering some of those mids, uh, getting the pickup farther away from the strings, and then raising the pole pieces to lower some of that low end, effectively just EQing the pickup. And that was getting me more in the direction I wanted to go, but you could only raise those uh, pole pieces up so high before they hit the strings, and you can only lower the pickup so far. And um, so one day I wondered, can I just take these pole pieces out? And uh, so I looked online, and sure enough, yeah, you can. And people do it. They've done it for a long time. And some pretty famous people have done it and apparently uh, like what they've gotten from it. And so I've been really happy with it. Um, it's made this guitar for me much more versatile um, because it's allowed me to EQ. I've actually been able to use the treble control on my, uh, on my amp or my iridium. Uh, I don't have to use other pedals to boost the EQ like I was doing before. I'm not adding in extra noise and harshness and whatever. Um, and the good news is, so I'm, it's effectively uh, deactivating this second coil. I mean, I'm, there's still some input, in it, but the the benefit is that it's still humbucking. I mean, my volume is up right now. 
but I don't have any hum going on and that's great. So I'm very happy with it overall. Um, and yeah, so here's just uh, what I, one thing I wanted, I turned this pickup around because I really wanted that strappy neck kind of sound that and uh, more of that bell tone, I guess. And uh, one thing I really would like uh, is the, in the middle position to be a little more like, I don't know, maybe Stratish, maybe Telly-ish, I'm not real sure, but like. That's just not a sound that I would have associated with a Les Paul previously. And so I know a lot of people um, who have tried this didn't like it, uh, that it, they felt it thinned out their tone too much. Um, for me, I would rather have a thinner tone and maybe actually start using the bass control on my amps for once and being able to use my treble control. And, um, you know, I can EQ for this pickup like I've always done, but I can roll the tone back on my bridge and for my rhythm. And so really, I'm very happy with it. And um, yeah, maybe give it a try. It's super free. That's what it is. It's super free. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. And um, yeah, I don't have any guitar heroes who play Les Pauls. I don't have this Les Paul tone in my head that all of a sudden I've lost because I've removed these pickup screws. What I've gotten is now a guitar that is much more versatile for me. And I'm very happy with it, and it didn't cost anything. So another thing that I've also done, which probably also contributes to the brightness, is I've started using the Diodario NYXL strings, because um, I read somewhere that they were supposed to be brighter. So uh, these are the 11 to 56 set, uh, which is mainly for drop D tuning, but I really like having the heavier low end just when I'm strumming hard I'm not getting that flubby string thing happening so there we go um, all those guitar sounds are just going through the Iridium I've got a little bit of delay and reverb on with the L cap and the flint um, but it's actually it's funny because it's the clean sounds are with the Marshall setting just the gain not turned up super high and the level cranked more and I really, really like it a lot. So uh hope you find this interesting and helpful. And uh, thanks for watching.